The players travelling for the FCSB away game is quite telling. When I saw the list, I sort of scanned it. I scanned it initially, and there was a few names that popped out. So I saw the, the list of the players that had travelled. Apparently, this, uh, it, the, the news came early on this from ex-West Ham United employee. And it was Ariola, Randolph, Heggy, a Gerd. OK, OK, a Gerd. I was looking out for that one. Is a Gerd going to travel? Yes, he is. Um, that, was, that was interesting. There's a few others. Uh, Casey Clayton, Soufal, Coventry Downs. Those two are interesting. Forbes, Fornells, Forson, Johnson, Lanzini, Mubama, who I think it looks like. It would have to start. It's going to have to start at Mabama, really, I, I would think, because there's no other forwards there. Um, Ogbonna, Orford, Scarls, and Swire. Swire, I've seen play. The reason I've mentioned him uh, when myself and Gio have discussed uh, like sort of um, previews for some of these European games is I've seen him play. He's one of the few players. Well, I've, I've seen all the all the, um, all the players play for under twenty ones, but he he impressed me more than some of the others. Um, and I, I thought he'd be worth an inclusion. So it was nice to see him there. But as I sort of scanned it, it was only really when I looked at it the third time, there was a name on there that popped out. Not initially, but Ashby. Harrison Ashby. Now, a lot has been made of his... I was going to say exclusion. To say the word exclusion would suggest that he's been excluded. Uh, let's say his absence. A lot has been made about his absence from the team thus far. Now, of course, the story is that Harrison Ashby only has a year left on his contract. Uh, Newcastle wanted him and he's not going to sign a new deal. Now, we don't know why he's not going to sign a new deal, but you read between the lines we did with Sonny Perkins. Either you're not signing a new deal because you're not happy that you have a route and a path into the first team, or it's money. I don't think we ever really will know. I think what we probably do know with Perkins one, it is possibly money now because, well, he's not been playing for Leeds. First team, there's no route to the first team for him at Leeds unless he's gonna, something's going to prove me wrong in the second half of the season. It would appear not. But it still doesn't look good on West Ham. It still begs the question, why can't West Ham pay more money to a youngster than Leeds United? Are we a little bit too strict on what we'll, what we'll pay our outstanding youngsters? And by the way, he has gone on and he's already played for England under-18s, recently scored a hat-trick and, and looked really, really good. So, good, good player, good player. Um, with Ashby, we just don't know. We do know that Eddie Howe wants him. The thing is with Ashby, and here's the thing, I think he's very, very talented. And actually, I think he's exactly what we need I say exactly what we need up until the point where Kera put in that performance against Manchester United particularly his attacking play was very very good and I do wonder if that's probably sealed Ashby's fate a little bit but actually in terms of technique particularly when we play it um, with wing backs he's what we need that just so foul uh, can't do it Johnson can't do it Johnson obviously right wing back is a more advanced position than right back well, actually, I think rather than going forwards and becoming more advanced, Johnson's actually going backwards. I, I, what I mean is he's retreating positionally in the team. I don't think he's ex expanding his game and becoming more of an attacker. I think he's becoming more of a defender. I think you see Johnson's future as a, as a centre-back, and uh, the right-sided centre-back in a three. I really do. So the person most suited to right wing-back is Harrison Ashby. But with the Newcastle aspect, here's what I was going to say. I could very much see at Newcastle when Kieran Trippier doesn't play, Eddie Howe giving him a go and him cementing himself. And I actually do think there is probably a better pathway into the first team at Newcastle than there is at West Ham. And that pains me to say that because he, I think he's an extremely talented player. Whenever I do these videos, um, I always end up having the same conversation in the comments afterwards because there will always be someone who said, well, hold on, name me, name me some players that have gone from West Ham and gone on to achieve um, something else. We always have the same conversation. We end up talking about John Terry, we talk about uh, Liam Ridgewell, we talk about House at Aston Villa, and we talk about the players that have gone on and become professionals, you know, like um, uh, like Junior Stanislas, uh, like Leon Britton, um, like Freddie Sears, and stuff. The same conversation happens. But it's almost, it's like a conversation stopper. Don't, don't talk about any sort of young players we might produce because there's not that many examples, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't have the conversation. I suspect Harrison Ashby is going to have a decent professional career. And when I say professional career, I don't mean to damn him with frank praise. I don't mean he's going to be a League Two player or anything like that. I suspect he will spend a good portion of his career up in the Premier League. Now, where he goes from that, if he then goes on and becomes a £20 million fullback or whatever, or even better, I don't know. But I do know one thing he's got, but I don't 
three things actually. He's got excellent technique, he's got an excellent cross, and he's got a rampaging long shot. Do not be surprised if you get to the end of Harrison Ashby's career and there's a highlight reel of him banging it in from, you know, screamers from 30 yards. You'll see that, and I just, I just look at it and I think, is this his chance? He's in there. Now, it ain't an easy one for him, by the way. It's not an easy one, I'll tell you why, because, well, Sue Fow and Johnson are both in the squad. But this is now for David Moyes. If there is a glimmer that we might be able to keep him, if there's a glimmer that we might be able to persuade him to stay, then, then this is when we do it. This is absolutely when we do it. I would also point out that Johnson's contract is running down as well, and for very different reasons, because I just think he's the perfect squad player. We need to be convincing him to... Um, to stay and sign a new deal. That being said, I think that's probably an, an easier job for David Moyes to do than it is with Ashby. Because let's be fair, it's quite easy to for David Moyes to say to um, to Johnson, "I really rate you." Um, because well, he can prove it. He can back it up with stats. He can back it up with the fact that he puts it in the team. The fact that he trusts him and he plays him in, in a number of positions. That, I think that's that's an easy one. I think Johnson would probably want to stay. I'd imagine that one comes down to money. So it's a case of, do you know what? Get your checkbook out and and let's let's pay uh, Ben Johnson. Whilst I don't think he's going to be a regular starter all his career, I, I do wonder if we're looking at the next Steve Potts there, actually, and he's going to be a really, really good servant. He'll play really well in a number of positions and help us out. As I say, perfect squad player will cover three or four positions. Um, with, with Ashby, I think it's very different. So, actually, you do have to sell this to him now. You do have to say to him, we are... We're, we believe in you. You are you're the you're the future for us. We, you know, and just say to him, but but be honest, be honest with him, but also give him a chance. Say to him, look, mate. Do you know what I mean? When we play with a back four, you're probably not going to play. We'll probably play um, uh, Kara there at right back. However, there are a lot of occasions when I will be switching um, to a back five, and and I will want you to play wing back. You'll be the wing back in that formation. That's what I want you to do. It's but we're going to drop you in. We're going to drip feed you in this season. Come this time next season, a year's time, I expect you to be featuring regularly in the first team. Say it and do it. Um, because I, th I think you'll have a good a good player on your hands. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, then I still think you've got a player there who's going to perform reasonably well for you. Either become a squad player, or you might be able to sell him on to, you know, a, ch a championship club for three, four, five million. You never know. You might be able to sell him to Nottingham Forest for fifteen. But you know what? Because. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They, they'll they'll pay. If you've got anything you want to sell on eBay at the moment, by the way, just just sell it to Nottingham Forest. They'll always pay a little bit more. Um, so I, look, that's just what I would do. But I'm pleased to see him back. Absolutely delighted to see Harrison Ashby back. And I, but I think when that team gets announced, I just hope he's in it. I, I really do. Because if it's in it, it's a statement of intent. If what you see. Because this is it. it is, there's going to be no better game this season for him to start. If he doesn't start now, forget it. If what you see is Soufal starting at right back and Harrison Ashby plays the last 10 minutes, forget it. I almost think it's a bit of an insult, actually. I, now, I say this, we don't understand, we don't know the dynamic between him and Moyes. We just don't know this. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what conversations have been had. It may well be that Harrison Ashby has just said, I'm, I'm off, whatever. You can't do anything. There's nothing you can offer me. I'm not signing. We've seen it with Perkins. We've seen it with Jeremy and Gakia. They might just not sign. If that's the case, then we're never really going to know. But if there is a chance, if there is a sliver, um, I'd, I'd like to explore it. I'd certainly like David Moyes to go for it. Anyway, um, interesting, really interesting one uh, this evening. A, a Gerd, the Gerd stuff is probably the biggest one there. Um, Will Ariola play? I don't know. Mbama, I think that's be, wouldn't it be great if Mbama scored a goal? There's enough creativity um, in the team. I've said about Sawyer, a good, good wide player. Lanzini's very, very creative, of course. Coventry and Downs are in there. There's enough for Nels, Ogbonna. There's enough senior players in that team to talk the young players through. And did you know this? I didn't know this. If, if when, and when I first heard this stat, I was very impressed. If West Ham win this game tonight, we will be the first team in Conference League history to go through the group stage with a 100% record. I heard that. Wow. Wow. That would be amazing. That's impressive. Then I sort of checked myself and I'm like, hold on a second. Uh, this tournament's only been going on for two years now. <laughs>